Today we are going to be talking about resistors in series and parallel. So those are the two rules which you guys would have studied at GCSEs. Now let's just recap them. If we have two resistors which are connected in series, for instance I have R1 and R2, the total resistance will just be the algebraic sum of those two resistors. For instance, if uh, let's write this in different colors, so let's say that this here was 100 ohms and this one here was 100 ohms, then the total resistance will be 100 plus 100, which will be 200 ohms. On the other hand, if those two resistors were connected in parallel, the total resistance will be given by the following expression. 1 over R total will be equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus more if there are more than two resistors connected in parallel. Let's do the same example. So let's say that those here were 100 ohms and those ones here were 100 ohms. So what we can do is simply write that 1 over R total is equal to 1 over 100 plus 1 over 100. This would mean that 1 over R total will be equal to 2 over 100. And then we can essentially flip the fraction. So R total will be equal to 2 over 100 raised to the power of minus 1, which is equal to 100 over 2, which is equal to 50 ohms. As a little exam trick, probably the easiest way of inputting this expression into your calculator would be to use just 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2, and then raise that to a power of minus 1. For instance, this in the case of the resistors being 100 ohms, this will be equal to 1 over 100 plus 1 over 100 raised to the power of minus 1. And if we put this into a calculator, this will be equal to 50 ohms. Remember that the two expressions are absolutely identical. Please also note that whenever we connect two resistors in parallel, the total resistance decreases. So this is really, really important and counterintuitive. But if we were to connect two resistors in series, the total resistance will increase. Now let's apply what we've learned to a couple of problems Okay guys, so here are the problems. What I'd like to do is to pause this video and find the total resistance in each case. Okay folks, now let's have a look at the solutions. for. So for the first case, we have two resistors which are connected in parallel. So we're going to need to use the parallel formula to add those up. And then we're going to use the series formula, which is essentially just to add 50 to our answer. So for the first case, our total resistance R total will be 50 plus the resistance uh, across the parallel branch, which is found by 1 over 100 plus 1 over 200 raised to the power of minus 1, which is going to be 50 plus 66.7, which is going to give us about 116.7. And let's say that this is equal to about 117 ohms up to two significant, up to three significant figures. Looking at the solution for the second question now. So here we have a um, here we have two resistors which are connected in series, so the total between those two will just be 100 plus 50. So I could just write this down. So R total will be equal to 100 plus 50 ohms plus. I'm going to need to find the total for just the parallel branch. So this will essentially be equal to 1 over 50 plus 1 over 50 
plus 1 over 50 then don't forget to raise this to a power of minus 1 because this is this is what our formula uh, says so and um, if we were to add those up we are going to get 166.7 and let's just say this is equal to 167 ohms Okay, folks, so hopefully resistors in series and parallel make sense. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.